I go back to the common sense thing about real estate. People need a house to live in. So have you seen the, the rates this high before? Because I know back in the back in the seventies, there was eighteen yeah. percent, right, or the early eighties. But like, have you seen it in twenty five years? These yeah, I, I, have. I, I, I have. I have. Yeah, and you 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 have too. We may not have felt it as much, but yeah, when I first started in the mortgage business, you know, interest rates were you know nine percent, ten percent, pretty consistently. And even in two thousand and six, two thousand and seven, there was a point that it was pretty close to seven percent in the high sixes for for a window. So yeah. yeah, this this I think I think what makes this one an issue is they've been so low. Like when they were seven yeah. percent a couple of years ago, you know, ten years ago, they weren't. It wasn't coming off of a two percent interest rate time period. So it feels and and the curve is so much higher. They've tripled in four months. So it's it's the speed of this that is causing the concern. Um, but they've been there. Yeah, we've certainly have seen these rates before. I'm seeing, so for me, I, and I wonder if you are too, I'm seeing like with our flips, I'm seeing that, okay, so we finish up a flip and instead of having 30 buyers that can afford that house, now maybe we have five because yeah. the, because yeah. the payment is, the payment is more than it was at 3%, 4%, 5%, now 6%, the payment is more per month. So I'm, so less people can afford right. that payment, but but what I've also noticed is I go back to the common sense thing about real estate. People need a house to live in. When you are ready for a house, you're ready for a house. Whatever the rates are, the rates are. Most people are like, yeah. well, I need a house. I'm out of college. I'm, my, my family's growing. I'm downsizing. Whatever it might be, they have to have a house. So they just get, they just get it. But yeah. less people can afford it. Do you think that, that from your perspective, less people. So yeah. there's still, I think there's still more buyers than there are houses right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's not as many where it's going to be like, I have to get my offering because I'm going to have 47 yeah. offers. Right? It's been, it's been yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and if you're selling a property, yeah, you want 30 people there, but if you have five people that show up and want it, you're still going to make money and you're still going to sell yeah. the house. So I still think it's good times. And, you know, and I always try to focus on what I call the, the margin, you know? So if you pay a lot for a house, but then the market's booming and you sell it for a lot, you're still making that profit margin. Well, if you buy it for cheaper and sell it for a little bit cheaper, you're still making that same margin. So as we've said so many times, it comes down to that, that buy price. And if home prices come down a little bit and you buy it cheaper, I, I think it's a, it's a benefit for all of us.